All right, let's go. It's Schrager's Fabulous Five. Each week, we rank the top five rookie performances, and we go from five to one. A lot of times, it's flashy wide receivers or running backs. A little departure. This one is for those in the trenches. Oh, yeah? Ooh. What do you got? Number five, can I get my sweet, sweet, sweet Osiris Torrance? Yeah. Footage. This was the big fella on Sunday night. You know that the Bills and the Giants had a battle. Osiris Torrance kind of handled Dexter Lawrence. Ooh. I was watching this game and I said, who is that big fella in the middle just driving people back while James Cook, how about this, Osiris Torrance this season has not given up a sack the entire season. He's a second round pick out of Florida. We talk so much about the rookie wideouts and the running backs and who's gonna step up. Osiris Torrance was plopped into this Bills offensive line and he was outstanding on Sunday night, giving Josh Allen just enough time there on the Morris touchdown. You watch him here. Who is he handling? He's handling one of the best defensive tackles, one of the highest paid defensive linemen in the league, Osiris Torrance. We see you on this one. Six starts this season, 244 passing block snaps, zero sacks allowed. Offensive line talk on a Tuesday hey, Perry, morning. You, you thought it was going to be Bryce Young. Let's Stroud, go. Oh, Osiris. That wasn't enough. <laughs> Sai? Yeah, baby. <laughs> How about a six foot eight beast of a man who was told you gotta go handle Nick, Nick Bosa this weekend? Ooh. Dewan Jones, step on up, oh number my four. Gosh. Six foot eight. That's a big dude. This guy is a dude out of Ohio State. And yeah, Bosa did get a sack and Bosa did his thing, but I guess what? <laughs> Most of the game, Dewan Jones handled his business and was doing just fine, giving PJ Walker enough time to get back there. And, you know, he's been playing all season. He is a monster, maybe the biggest guy in the NFL. And this might have been his best effort in an upset win where he held it down there at right tackle. But I really wanted to use this as a vehicle because I wanted to show you guys something. Um, yeah, can we go to Ben Davis High School in I Indianapolis? Knew it. Come on, Peter. Can we go to Ben Davis? That's knew my it. boy! <laughs> That's my boy, Dewan Ooh. Jones! Get up! Six foot eight, 350. Ah. This guy can move. This guy was doing it all. Look at him covering a point guard. Oh, oh, give me that. Give me that. Give it to him. Give it to him. Get up. Yeah. <laughs> it's Dewan Jones in high school in Indianapolis working the low post. Yeah. That's, the, that's a mic and drill, Stacy. That's easy. <laughs> We're doing Trigger, it. You could have handled him in that's high school. It. Peter. That's it. That's the mic and drill. That's Come Shaq. on. That's a baby Shaq. He looks like baby Shaq out there, and he was big Shaq out there handling his business against that 49 Peter, I would Ben Davis versus Freehold High have gone back. We would have been okay. We would have hung. <laughs> We would have run a 1 3 1 trap. Traeger on the low block. That's it. You know, pass, pick away. Yeah. That's what it would have been. Um, all right. He received offers to play college basketball and college football. He chose college football, went to Ohio State. It was actually a, you know, fourth round pick of the Browns. Goes to play for his hometown team, and he was great on Sunday in an upset. We see you, Dewan Jones. Number three, back in the trenches on defense. How about Byron Young right. for the Los Angeles Rams? Guys, again, we're not just giving you wide receivers and running backs. That's not what we do on this show. We give you the best players from the week, and Byron Young was all over the field. Third round pick out of Tennessee via Georgia military. The guy shows up this season. They're like, well, we're not sure what we got, and was dominant against this Cardinals defense. Mm -hmm. Byron Young all over the field, six tackles, a sack, two quarterback hits, and a forced fumble. Was excellent coming off the edge for the, for the Rams. How about this? He's first among all rookies this season in quarterback hits. And if you go across the entire NFL, he is tied for fifth quarterback hits. Byron Young, look at these other names. Those are, those are four very well-known names. And then you've got Byron Young and then three more very well-known <laughs> names. Byron Young and some elite company. We see you at number three. Get to the Byron Young basketball clip I here. Let's go. And you've heard of Byron Scott. Here's Byron <laughs> yeah. Young. Yeah. No. no. Number two. How about we go to a Notre Dame legend? Let's go to a Notre Dame tight end. Mr. Michael Mayer making an expression on this field saying, you know what? I'm here too. This is not just the Sam Laporta season. I'm going to show up as well. Touché. Michael Mayer, number 87 for the Raiders, was awesome on Sunday against the Patriots. You look at the numbers here. Six targets, five receptions, 75 yards, career high across the board. He is becoming one of these guys. They're like, all right, he's the, he, we expected it early. Here we are in week six. Showed up, had his best game as a pro. Was all over the field for the Raiders. He led the Raiders in receiving yards this week. 
He had three receptions in his first five games, then goes out and has five for 75 in week six. We see you, Mike. And he's Lee. always trying to kill Jamie Lee Curtis in the movies, he right? He is. Halloween is right around the corner. I like right the name. The it's it. Uh, you look at these snaps. This is why we love Rich Goldberg, our producer. He's like, love him. you got to mention the snap percentage. Yeah, I do. <laughs> 81% of the snaps going from 40% back then in week two when he first played. And gosh, Kyle, is that your doppelganger? This guy's beautiful. Never mind me. Yeah. Goldberg was passionate about the offensive snap <laughs> percentage. I'm telling you, get it in. He's played 81% of the snaps. I got you. Goldberg's Goldberg. no rookie. He's uh, all a Goldberg, famer. He's an all-timer. All right. And number one, this is getting a little bit repetitive, but... When you go and you take care of business and you win another NFL game and you beat Derek Carr and you beat that Saints defense, we got to give you love. Gotta do it. Yeah. CJ Stroud is number one again. He's been number one just about the entire season long. In a Puka Nakua year, in a Bijan Robinson year, I, I'm always partial to the young quarterback who's just rolled onto an NFL field and get the job done. Amazing pass there to Dalton Schultz. Clutched through his first interception, came right back, took his team down the field. This season already, he's got 1,600 passing yards, nine touchdowns, one interception. He completed uh, 13 passes, and you know what? Did it for 200 yards and two touchdowns on Sunday. And after the game, I think the expression and the emotion of his uh, head coach spoke for all the Texans fans who are excited to see C.J. Stroud under center. D'Amico, take it away. Love this team, love the energy, love the way you guys play for each other, fight for each other, special unit. All right, let's keep grinding, let's keep getting better. All right, we'll take a little time off this week, come back ready to grind and get better to finish out this season. Love you guys, proud of you guys. Appreciate you. Man! Let's KB go. Right up, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Texas! Yeah. And you see who's in the middle there, bringing them down, saying, huh? It's their rookie quarterback, C.J. Stroud. Guys, this is the list for week five. Different than most weeks. Usually we're a little flashier. We got a little more highlights. This is in the trenches, on the edge, tight end, and, of course, our QB1 from the rookie class. What do you think? I like seeing a Bills lineman on there, Peter. <laughs> they they got to put all the help in front of Josh Allen as they can. I, I love the name Osiris. You don't see a lot of Osiris. Or, I'm thinking Cyrus the virus. Cyrus used to be on the Real World Challenge yep. back in the day, yep. and th that's pretty much all I got. Yeah. I like Osiris Torrance. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I thought it was outstanding. I thought it was outstanding. The basketball highlights got it for me with Dewan Jones. I, I want more of this, actually. I prefer this. I, I'm, you know, I, offensive line players are my oh. favorite in the National Football League. I can't wait until CJ Stroud and Bryce Young play each other in week eight. They play. They're both on the they, bye. They so, play. like, off the bye. which rookie's going to come out in that one? We'll see. It was going to be fun. It was fun seeing some guys in the trenches next week. Let's get back to the skill position. I know, but I, know. I enjoy this little <laughs> Jawan Jones or Osiris. Michael Mayer, he showed up on third down for the Raiders, made some big catches as well. So, CJ Stroud <laughs> throws a pick, comes right back, throws a touchdown pass, and wins the game. Unbelievable rookie year. This tight end class, you've got Dalton Kincaid, who we're waiting for to really kind of step it up at this point. You've got Sam Laporta. Mayer might be the guy. This is like one of those, you've got the tortoise and the hare. This is Mayer who's mm -hmm. coming on strong. And we'll see who's that quarterback moving forward if Jimmy's out. But Mayer, he's definitely got to be reckoned with. CJ, we see you. I can't say enough. What an impressive start to his Love career. Love it. Way to go, Peter! Yes, Peter. Thanks. Thanks.